We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. We're here in historic Sandtown, Winchester, in historic West Baltimore, and we're going to talk briefly about that picture right there, Mr. Pontella Mason. We have with us artist extraordinaire, Sean James. How are you, sir? Pretty good. Thanks for having me. Sean, what's what's going on here? Um, well, we're uh, um, doing a third iteration of uh, Black Heritage Mural. There were two on this wall beforehand. Um, the, the latest one was the Wall of Pride. Both of the two murals prior to this were done by a good friend of mine and mentor, Pontella Mason. And that's Pontella there? And this is a portrait of Pontella Mason. He's currently being painted by artist Michelle Santos, who is also a mentee of Pontella. Um, when I came here about 20 years ago, I met both Pontella and uh, Michelle at the same time. She was working there. But um, nevertheless, the last mural that was here was in um, such rough shape. The mortar was coming apart, the paint was flaking. Um, I came out here and made an assessment to see if it could be um, saved, and my, uh, my initial assessment that it couldn't be. So the city decided that we'd update it and put a new mural on it, and this one is, is being led and designed by artist Ernest Shaw, who's done several murals around Baltimore City. He's a professor up at Baltimore City Community College? Um, no, he is an educator in the city, but he doesn't work at um, the Baltimore City College. Okay. Community College. Um, but, and, uh, and Pontella's wife, you had noted? Yes, Pontella, Miss Deborah Mason is definitely part of the committee who oversaw the design of this and approved uh, the, of the motif and what we were going to add into it. So she's been on board and she's actually doing the lettering for a lot of this as well. Good deal. Thank you for your work here in Sandtown. Hey, thank you for having me. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.